a Big Mac will never pass my lips. I'm a food snob. There you are, I've said it. Now, I've always associated salt and sugar with dreadful, common, fast food. Until now. When Prince Charles allegedly called for McDonald's to be banned, the press claimed that his very own Dutchie Originals range was even worse than McDonald's. But do people believe it? So if you had a choice between a Big Mac and a Dutchie Originals organic pie, which okay. one do you think is the healthiest? I think this one. If I said to you, you could have a Big Mac, or a Dutchie Never original? Big Macs. Never ever. OK. I'm far too healthy for that. I'd probably say the pie. Dutchie originals? Yeah. I'm confused and want to find out for myself what Dutchie food is really like. I'm going to Dutchie supersize me and for the next 10 days eat exclusively from Prince Charles Organic Range. So let's get the sausages on the go. A couple of rashes of bacon. Well, chutney. It'll have to do instead of tomato sauce. Oh, that is so sweet. I don't know how I'm going to eat this for breakfast every day. Fresh tomato soup with rosemary, organic parsley, organic sugar. What's sugar doing in soup? Sugar? What's sugar doing in my Cornish pasty? Fresh gravy, obviously for the people who don't cook, sluts gravy. Raw cane sugar, caramelised sugar. There's no sugar in my chicken and mushroom pie. I can't eat it. I can't face it. I mean, my body is a temple. I can't stomach the thought of another nine days of Dutchie nosh, so I'm handing the challenge over to two younger, fitter, identical twins. To make things more interesting, I'm putting Lisa on the McDonald's diet. Can I have a bacon, egg and cheese bagel, please? While Julie is chuffed that she gets to choose from the posh Dutchie range. <laughs> Mm. The twins will be attempting the diets for 10 days, mm. during which time they'll be closely monitored by a doctor. Now, I ate a pasty, and then I discovered that there's more fat, saturated fat, in that pasty than there is in a Big Mac. This does contribute around 90% of the guideline daily amount of saturated fat for an adult woman. That's an incredibly large amount. A Dutchie's Cornish pasty contains as much saturated fat as four Ginster's Scotch egg bars or three Rustler's microwave barbecue rib sandwiches or one and a quarter Tesco's micro doner kebabs. Unlike me, the twins managed to stick with their menus for 10 days. What I want to know is how has the royal regime measured up to McDonald's? It was time to find out what effect it had had on their health. Well, really, the key thing is the cholesterol. Now, yeah. it's the same sort of news yeah. for both of you. The percentage of good cholesterol that you've got has absolutely dropped like a stone. <gasps> oh, really? Yeah. So the ratio of good cholesterol to bad cholesterol is wow. now in the range that would be potentially dangerous long term. In fact, the cholesterol ratio of the twin on the Dutchie's diet had changed even more than her sister's. If she continued eating her royal regime, it could have had some unexpected side effects. Oh. Loss of concentration, loss of libido. Loss of libido? <gasps> yeah. Oh. yeah. You got anything to tell us? <laughs> All we can yeah. say is that in this little experiment <coughs> that we've done yeah. with yeah. you too, yeah. it has had a profound yeah. effect on your cholesterol. Yeah. Okay. Right, so I've fucked up your sex life. You can't remember anything. You kept putting your phone in the fridge, otherwise <laughs> OK. <laughs> I'd say all of that in a nutshell, really, Janet.